Hey guys, welcome back. This video I will show you something that many people asked me to do for a very long time. Um, it's not something to be proud of as a Vietnamese, so I didn't make a video, but for the last few months I got lots of comments, emails, messages asked me like where you been, what happened, why didn't see any video. So I decided to make this and share with you the things. One of the most questions that I got on my channel is where did I learn all of the things that I did? Where did I find some really good machines and tools? So first for someone didn't know that I live in Vietnam one of a few communism country in the world and we are poor. I think this is a common thing in some poor country that we are selling pretty much everything on the street. I mean you can really find anything you want on pretty much every street in the cities. It will be a little bit different, but what I'm showing you is almost the same as everywhere over the country. It's the same with machinery and equipment. We have a market like flea market that selling used stuff from many countries, but it came directly from Japan, so like 90% from them I still see some from USA, Germany, Switzerland, Australia and they are selling almost everything from massive industrial equipment, heavy duty machinery, power tools, hand tools, electrical stuff, musical instruments, clothes, shoes, even a spoon or a chopsticks. This is a place that I bought everything from my shop. Every single wrench, drill bit, end mill, top, or just a piece of steel or bronze. 
you know, when I built my shop, I didn't have a lot of money, so I have to go around and find some used stuff. Uh, somebody mentioned this to me, and I discovered the place myself. And I did pay a lot of money for the lessons, for the experience that I got. They are used, but some still really good, some brand new, but some are just junk. Um, the price is very good back then, but it's getting ridiculous now because of the online market. A lot of people know the place and the seller also know more the, the value of the things that they are selling. I thought I was lucky to live pretty close to that market, but not really though. Another problem is we are right next to China, so you know, things very easy get into the country, legal or illegal. Um, I mean, we can easily get everything with very good price. So basically, we don't need to make anything, we don't invent, build anything. Most of the factory, we, they are just manufacturing stuff for, for other companies in the world. Most of the machine shops, they are just doing fixing job or, you know, plastic mold or some basic stuff. And most of the machinists, they are just do things by experience and it's passing from generation to the next. Uh, nowhere, no one going to teach you all the things that I did on my channel because I learned though from the internet, from watching YouTube, Instagram, you know. Even in the college, university, they are just teach you some basic stuff from very old standard curriculum. I'm just trying to share with you the situation, so please don't talk about politics or what on the people might or something. To answer the questions where I've been, what happened, um, I'm still here, I'm doing fine, but I just really don't know what to do, to be honest, because nobody doing something like me here. I really want to learn and practice more, but I think I got a limit because, you know, when you really get into practical engineering stuff, it needs some very specific equipment, but nobody used them here, so they just don't supply. Even just some kind of tool steel, soft metal, or other basic stuff like spring, washer, o-ring, bolt, nut, sandpaper, lock tie, cutting oil. We don't have much choice and of course everything are from China and most of them are fake or really bad quality and for example if I want to buy a piece of 4140 steel I need to go to the right place need to find the right store and all they give you is just a piece of steel with no information you, you can't just make anything if you don't know what you're working with and how to control the quality and I still can find something online but you know those stuff are not cheap at all and I have to pay for shipping and wait for months because I don't have any experience on those and you know some specific measuring equipment they really need to be calibrated and no way and no place do it here and somehow if I can make something but nobody need them and nobody willing to pay for the efforts that I put into it. I can't even make money from some basic job in my shop because there are a lot of machine shops that are doing those very cheap and they don't really care about the quality, you know, just good enough. Uh, I have a Vietnamese channel that I share something that I learned along the way but nobody cares because they don't need them and lots of people just told me to keep making weird stuff for YouTube uh, to make some money but that's not what I've been 
doing for, you know. I didn't think much when I started a channel. All I wanted was just to improve my English, challenge myself for new things, make friends with people around the world. Yeah, I do happy with what I got, but the point is, what next? By the way, I want to tell you a little secret is I am 33 years old. You know, I'm not young anymore and I am only five feet tall, so I really need to make a good plan. After almost five years messing here, almost every day, I took a little step back last few months, you know, I made a road trip across my country, met some people, spent time with family and friends. But when I get back to the reality, I stuck with it again. I'm not complaining or anything, just trying to share with you the reason why I'm not doing much on YouTube or some other social media. And also, I'm not sure about the future, but I got this. My friend has this milling machine for two years. He tried to fix it, but when he put it back, some parts were missing and when he disassembled the spindle, you know, with angular contact ball bearings, he didn't know how to put it back and he asked me if I could help. And we both agreed that I going to convert it into a CNC because he already has some manual ones and I never get my hands on a CNC before so I really want to give it a try and Yep, that's it. As always, thanks for watching guys. See you real soon, okay?